Welcome to week four in Introduction to Literature. This is an exciting week as we are starting our novel, The Bluest Eye, and I hope that you guys will really get into it. Um, the writing is very artistic and poetic in a way, um, but also very emotional, and you can tell that the writer is deeply connected to the characters that she writes about. So I hope that you can put in the work in the reading so that you get a lot back from actually doing the work. Um, all right, let's take a look at this week. Make sure you look at the description so you know what you need to do this week. So there are reading assignments, um, mostly just reading the novel. There are two discussions. There's a fiction quiz and um, a revised response essay. So let's take a look at these part by part. Here's the thought of the week. If you need some positivity, stop there. Um, in terms of your reading assignments, I need you to read the foreword and pages 1 to 93. Now, if you're seeing this before the week starts, Maybe you want to get started on your reading now um, so that you can get ahead a little bit so it's not so much pressure next week. There are two discussions. The first one is on the forward. So as soon as you read the forward, you might want to stop and do this, this particular post. Um, that way it's fresh in your head. And then the second discussion is on character. So basically what I want you to do is review the section in your book on character, which has a list of questions you can ask when analyzing characters, which would be really helpful to you um, in completing this discussion. So what I want you to do is pick one character that you've met on pages 1 to 93. You can pick any character you'd like, and I want you to answer some of the questions that um, the book asks on pages 76 to 77 in that section. Um, and then end your post with a question for your peers related to characters in the novel. Uh, maybe questions you had about people or things you were thinking about. Let's try to keep this as interesting and engaging as possible. You guys are doing such a great job with discussion so far and I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this one. The quiz for this week has two parts. One is comprehension of the bluest eye, the reading that you've done so far this week. So they're basic questions that if you read um, you know, make sure that you are annotating in case you want to look some of this up. But if you read, you should be able to answer these questions. And um, secondly, your understanding of fiction terminology, which you've read in your textbook. And you can use the glossary in your textbook for help with these definitions as you go. As always, you have two chances, so make sure you take use of that if you need to. And the last assignment for this week is your revised response essay. You started this last week, so you've seen this assignment before. If you scroll down to the bottom to the tasks, you've already done parts one, two, three, and four, which means that you've done most of the work for this assignment already. The only things you need to do this week are read my feedback, um, reread your essay, and then revise, edit, and polish before you submit it for a grade. Remember that you're looking down here at the rubric so you know exactly how I'm grading you and point values. Um, that way, check this, use this as a revision checklist so you can get the highest possible grade on this assignment. All right, that's all for this week. I hope you have a really great week, and if you have any questions, let me know.